Hey everyone, hope you're having a phenomenal day and today I just wanted to make a short video comparing bore brushes and synthetic brushes, especially if you're a beginner because if you're a beginner and you're on a budget, these are likely going to be two types of brushes that you're going to be looking into purchasing and I'm not going to be including Badger in this comparison because first of all, Badger is very expensive in relatively to uh, bore and synthetic brushes as a decent badger can easily run you upwards of 30 pounds or 30 dollars and the cheaper badger brushes which you can find on amazon and elsewhere i would recommend avoiding them because the quality of these brushes is um honestly not great based on reviews that i've seen online as well as the durability that will be compromised as well and moreover there's also some ethical concerns regarding badger brushes as the way badgers are kept to har um, for their bristles to be harvested is uh you know uh, not exactly great and therefore a lot of people do avoid badger brushes due to that reason so do keep that in mind when you purchase um, either any of if, when you're choosing any of these three brushes nevertheless I'm just gonna be focusing on bore and synthetic bristles so when I first started wet shaving first of all I never thought that I'd be making a video about brushes neither uh, did I think that this would become a long-term hobby of mine but if you're watching this video you can probably relate to me as well so the interesting thing about brushes are you you don't really need um, you know a fancy brush and a cheap brush that is incredibly inexpensive can easily get you a good lather. Of course, the face feel, uh, the main differentials are the face feel will be maybe slightly worse, and also the quality of the lather may be um, you know not on par with a more expensive brush because it might take longer to create that perfect uh, super lather, whatever you want to call it. In fact, I started off with this uh, synthetic brush that I bought from Timu, and this is probably what a lot of you will find uh, when you search up shaving brush and you know sort from lowest to highest price. And I got this for about one and a half pounds. And this brush, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, obviously, if I compare it to some of the brushes that I've got now, which is uh, this 24 millimeter uh, Yaki brush and this uh, Parasso X Omega uh, bore brush. Yes, these are better products in comparison to this, but this also costs like 12.5% of the price of these two brushes. So that's something you should keep in mind. Now, these cheap brushes, at least for me, I've had this for about like three, four months. I haven't lost any bristles on it. It's uh, It still creates lather all right. Yeah, sure, the knot is in dents and it won't make a you know super luxurious lather, but given enough time and patience, you can pretty much lather anything up with this brush. Even uh, shower gel, I've tried that once just for curiosity sake. So there's nothing wrong with purchasing this, but your experience will be better if you just spend a little bit more, which is not that much. You know, this brush costs seven pounds on AliExpress. Granted, this was a defect brush. And also if you're buying on AliExpress from Yaki, I would advise um, being careful with the price because they do tend to uh, change the price depending on like uh, your cookies utilization so if they see that you're researching a lot on shaving products then they'll just bump up the price expecting you to pay more again price discrimination because of the internet but be wary of that so try using like a, a vpn or like clearing your cookies or something before you do purchase brushes on aliexpress so let's just get right into these two brushes specifically now i'm going to make a review on this brush later on because i haven't really found a video on this per uh, perasso brush on YouTube, but what can you expect in differences between these two? So first of all, this Yaki brush, uh, Yaki brushes are known to be phenomenal, at least in the wet shaving community. Like they're very affordable. They're incredibly soft. Like I kid you not, the difference between these two brushes, they're both synthetic. This, this feels similar to this bore brush over here. And this is ultra soft. It's very smooth. So when you're lathering, face lathering especially, you will notice that difference slightly as you don't have that scratchy, scratchy feeling. And it just feels nicer to like, you know, put on your face. Um, bore bristles on the other hand, when you first get this brush, the two things to be aware of are the smell, which I didn't really find was a problem with this brush specifically. Sorry about that. And second of all, bore brushes require, because they're natural br bristles, they require a bit more care and also you need to break it in. So what I did to break it in, uh, breaking in, uh, breaking a bore brush in at least is just a process that makes the bristles uh, on uh, at least the tips of the bristles split which makes the surface softer and much nicer and it causes the brush to perform better so when i first got this brush the bristles were kind of spiky and hard and they were um 
you know, at least dry, they were unpleasant. But once you wet the brush and you start lathering it up, I would say that these two were very similar in terms of face, face lathering, except this had a bigger knot. So I would say this created lather a bit faster than the synthetic brush. So, but after you break it in, these become, uh, the tips of these become pretty soft as well, except the backbone or the stiffness of these bristles is actually much greater than either the two other synthetics that I have. I'm not sure about Badger, but again, that's not the point of this video. And because of that, board brushes are really great if you're trying to exfoliate your skin and your, uh, and also if you're trying to lather up hard soaps because that stiffness really helps you get a bit of leverage over the soap and mix in the air a bit better to create a lather faster. So um, the other concern that I had initially was the smell. Again, this wasn't great. Uh, sorry, this wasn't bad on this brush, but when you do wet the brush, it starts smelling like wet dog. So if you've ever smelled wet dog, that's what this brush will smell like when it's wet initially, wet hog. But um, again, breaking in uh, these brushes are super easy. What you do is first, um, put this in a glass of water or a mug. I use this like pickle jar. I left it overnight or um, I left it overnight. Then in the morning, I dried this brush. I squeezed the excess water out and then just took a towel, any towel, and then just started like brushing it on this for five minutes. And then I did that entire procedure again for another day. And finally, um, and sorry, in between those days, I would just create a lather with any shaving soap or cream that I had. I used, um, Parasso green because I like the smell of the soap very much and then the boar smell just went away and this brush is pretty much usable after those two passes again you can do this as many times as you like depending on your mileage but yeah um, good to go so that's the key thing to keep in mind with boar brushes they will be scratchier than synthetics they will have an initial smell and like they'll be a bit stiff but after you break it in and after you lather up that problem goes away and this brush is great in fact this brush specifically i didn't have any bristles or anything drop out of it so i was expecting at least you know three four bristles to drop out with each shave but it was all right it was great now synthetics on the other hand now uh everything i said before is a bit different for synthetics synthetic brushes again will feel softer you don't need to break them in and maintenance is much easier on synthetics. Board brushes will take at least like 24 hours plus to dry. I find if I take a synthetic, I use it and then I just brush it on my towel, like excess water and just leave it on my uh, counter. It'll dry like in less than a day, like easily. It'll take maybe a half of the time that the board brush takes. So that's also, um, that's also important to keep in mind. Secondly, synthetics don't absorb as much water as boar brushes. So when you first use boar brushes, you will kind of need to soak them in warm water for like a couple of minutes so that they can, you know, create lather optimally. That is slightly inconvenient for uh, maybe a lot of you who are leading busy lifestyles. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Again, it's uh, not that big a deal if you're just do, like, you know, just drop it in water and you're doing other stuff like washing your face, etc. So that's um, not the biggest issue in the world. Now, synthetics, the lather I find that you can create with synthetics is usually gonna be faster than something like boar. But again, this depends on the types of soap and the differences aren't that big in my opinion that you need to get like a boar and you get a synthetic. So this brush, can I can get the same lather with this as I can get with this or any of the other, uh, or the Omega brush as well. Now, what I would say is the boar brush does use up a bit more lather. So. While, uh, while I can just um, you know swirl my brush or uh, this brush on this pup for about like 10 15 seconds and get enough lather for three passes after face lathering, I can't say the same about this uh, boar brush because this does absorb the bristles absorb a lot of the moisture as well as the lather which causes you know um, insufficient like an insufficient amount of lather for multiple passes. So for example, if I do the same with this on the Parasso Green so for 10 to 15 seconds, I'll just get enough lather for maybe one and a half passes. So this requires lathering up for at least, you know, 20 to 30 passes. Economically, I'm not sure what that translates into soap usage and stuff, but I would say Boar does use a bit more lather than synthetic. So um, that's basically all you need to know about synthetic or Boar brushes. Now, would I recommend one over the other? Not necessarily. I think it's, again, a very, your mileage may vary as it, as it is with most uh, things in wet shaving uh, case because some people, I at least some days, I really like the exfoliating feeling of the natural bristle brush. And also for certain types of soap, I find that this makes a better lather, especially if I'm using a hard soap. Um, so for example, something like 
uh, Tabak, Mitchell's Wolf Fat, those soaps would work better in my opinion with this brush, but I could do the same. I can make a decent lather with that as well. It'll just take a bit longer. The second thing is uh, maintenance. Synthetics require a lot less maintenance than boards easily. You know, you just uh, briefly rinse them, leave, uh, whip out the water, leave it out to dry. With boards, it's a bit more involved. You need to squeeze the water out. It takes a bit longer to dry. Not the best for traveling for that reason. So that's something to keep in mind. And lastly, I guess if you're a vegan or if you're uh, if you don't like the idea of animal natural hair is being used, go for synthetic. That's uh, easily the best thing you can do. So. If you, um, for most people, when you're first starting out in wet shaving, I would say if budget is a concern, just go for a bore brush because they tend to be the cheapest. I would, I would prefer this bore brush over this because of the knot size. I think that density really adds to the feeling of, um, you know, when you're face tattering and also helps create lather a bit faster uh, as opposed to these cheap synthetic brushes, which have like a tiny, tiny knot, like it's very small, I don't know if this would be like even 18 millimeters or something. But eventually I would say you you should try a synthetic or a bore if you don't have either one of them, just once. And again, they're relatively inexpensive if you know where to look and you can get great quality, uh, great quality ones. Omega makes fantastic bores. Yaki also makes fantastic synthetics. I'm not sure about their other products, but yeah. Um, overall, I personally, I'm, I feel like I still need to use these for a few more months to see which one I prefer. But I really, really like this Yaki brush because the construction on this is phenomenal. Like the weight, the handle, the design, and yeah, it's just, I, I just really like the handle. Now, the bristles on this brush are great as well. It's just that the handle feels a bit cheaper because it's hollow and it's plastic which is why I would give the build quality edge to the Yaki, but still it's a bore brush and bore brushes deserve their place in a shaving than if you have one and they're an experience you should have. So I feel like I let this video drag on a bit too long, but if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. I'll be making a review of this Parasa Omega bore brush as well in the future. And um, yeah, uh, let me know what your favorite shaving brush is and do subscribe and like this video if you want to see more wet shaving content in the future. So thank you for watching.